Hello, my name is Brian Henius and I'm a Principal Consultant with Sandpoint Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you how SAP Analytics Cloud, or SAC, can help you organize your dimension members and hierarchies. Within SAC, we're able to create multiple hierarchies and name and rename hierarchies. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how we create multiple hierarchies in SAC. For this example, I'm going to use the customer dimension. First, to create a hierarchy, I'm going to navigate to the model I'm working with. I navigate to the customer dimension. I navigate to the dimension settings for the customer dimension and scroll down to hierarchies. I select create hierarchy and select parent child hierarchy. The first hierarchy I'm going to create is a hierarchy by geographic region. Now I add subtotals to go within this hierarchy. Once I'm done adding my subgroupings, I select Save. I now navigate to the Hierarchy Management icon. I find my first grouping, which is All Locations. And I find my additional groupings. I now drag customer dimension members out to be represented in each grouping. If I'd like to remove a member that I've added to a grouping, I can simply select it and drag it back over to the member list. Once I am happy with the groupings that I've created, I select Save. I will now create a second hierarchy. To create a second hierarchy, I uncheck the hierarchy management icon and return to the mention sheet. I navigate back to the dimension settings and scroll down to hierarchies and click the plus icon this time. This hierarchy will be based on the customer type. I add the hierarchy and add a dimension members to be represented within this group. This time, I will designate that the all types is within the types hierarchy. And you'll see the difference when I go to manipulate the hierarchy by doing that. I click save when I'm finished adding my dimension members. And this time I will manipulate the hierarchy using the grid view. 
I click this icon to switch to grid mode. I can now see that I have the location hierarchy and the customer type hierarchy. I can also see that the all types is already represented as the first member within the customer type hierarchy. To add the other members that I have created, I simply click on the cell, click the pencil icon, and click all types. Grocery and discount now are children of the all types group. I can now select other members to add to these subgroups. I click save when finished, return to the display mode or the list mode and select the hierarchy management icon again. I can now select either location or customer type in my hierarchy selection. And if I open the customer type, I can see the changes that I've just made while in the grid mode. Now that I've organized my customer dimension in two hierarchies, I can use these two hierarchies in any reports based on this model. This concludes the presentation on account hierarchies.